Hey, 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 this is Christine, your DIY Craftaholic. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning. And if you are new, welcome. I am so happy you decided to join me here today. Today I have five budget-friendly summer tear tray DIYs, so let's jump in. For the first DIY, I'm using this from Dollar Tree that I had in my stash, and I decided to cut that down using my miter box. Now, if you don't have a miter box, you can use a regular saw. That should be fine. So once I cut the first piece, I then took what was left, measured it, and then cut that in three pieces, and then sanded down the edges using the sanding block. I thought I measured it evenly, but I clearly I didn't. One turned out to be a little bigger than the others, as you can see here. But I decided to go ahead and use them anyway. So I took those and I painted them with some white acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. Now, this paint was not pigmented enough to cover the printing. I decided to leave the, the paper there just to give me some additional support. So I gave that two coats. I printed these phrases, sweet summer, fresh strawberry, fresh lemons on this water slide decal from my printer. And here I took the sweet summertime and I cut that out. And if you wanna see how I transfer Using the water slide decal, I leave a video right here so you can check that out. But here I, I soak that in some water for about 30 seconds and then here I'm sliding off the paper from underneath onto the surface and then took a piece of paper towel and just dry the excess liquid. Then I went over that with some Mod Podge using the sponge dapper. And this one is reversible. So I put that on this side and on the reverse side, I placed fresh strawberries. As you can see, the, the F on the fresh was kind of wonky, but I decided to leave it there anyway. And then I took my paint pen and I'm going to draw a little strawberry to the side right there. <laughs> Don't laugh at my strawberry. I think it came out pretty cute. The colors of the red looks like orange. For some reason, my camera changes the color, but it is red. So I drew the red part of the strawberry using the red paint pen and then color that in. And then I took the green and here I am just kind of giving, drawing my, I'm not sure if that's a leaf, but the top part of the strawberry. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it didn't look too, uh, it looked very crooked, but I fixed that as you will see. Now it wasn't bright enough. After I dried it, I went over that with a little green acrylic paint. And then to give the little dots on the strawberry, I decided to go with white. So I took the paint again and this little embossing tool from Dollar Tree and just applied some little dots and dried that. And I couldn't bear looking at the crooked F, so I made it straight. <laughs> and then went over it with some Mod Podge. And then for this sweet summer time side I made a little red bow and glued that on and this little sign is done. More of that in the final reveal. This is the Crafted by Corey Minis Challenge and this month we are doing summer. Crafted by Corey. Corey is very talented. I enjoy watching her DIYs. I will leave her link in the description box below so you can check her out. She's very talented and she has some great ideas. As well as the playlist. Make sure to check out the other creators on this playlist as well. So now we're moving on to DIY number two. 
here are the other pieces of the wood I am going to be making a little book stack and the color paints that I chose to paint those now it's all painted and dried now I don't know why I decided to put that little melon slice right there <laughs> that came from a Dollar Tree art piece that I purchased last year and I still had that in my stash and for some reason I just thought that it needed to go there but anyway <laughs> I glued it on and then I took the strawberry patch saying, cut that out. It was a little bit too big for the space, but I, I, I decided to just place it there anyway. So I trimmed that down and transferred that on just like you saw me doing in the beginning with the other one. and we're moving right along. I then took this buffalo check ribbon and just cut a piece and glue that down to the side. I made a small bow and glue that on as well. And I think this piece is done. Now let me know what you think about this strawberry patch book stack in the comment section down below. If you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I'm so happy you joined me today. Here on my channel, I do DIYs on a budget, dupes, look for less, and some occasional Dollar Tree shopping hauls and thrift flips. If you love budget-friendly DIYs like these and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell. Hit it again and select all so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos. All right guys, so we're on to DIY number three. These are some wooden strawberries that I got from Woodpecker's Craft. I am an affiliate, so if you're interested in those, my affiliation link is in the description box below. And as you can see, they're just plain. So I took my pencil and I drew on the little leaves again, <laughs> painted it with the red apple barrel and the same green paint that I used in the beginning, painted both sides. Yes, I know my drawing for the leaves looked a little messy, but I wasn't worried about that because I knew I would be painting it over. And so now the strawberries are all dried. I took black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and this is also a plaid product and white apple barrel paint. I gave two of them white dots and one black dots. And to highlight the leaves a little bit more, I took this fine tip Sharpie and I traced out the green. And then I took some, some of the white paint with a piece of makeup sponge and I'm just brushing the edge to give it some definition. And I did that for both sides. Then applied some Mod Podge using this sponge dapper. I, and that's Mod Podge in that squeeze bottle. <laughs> But after I did that, I realized that they're too plain. So I took the black paint pen and I wrote on the words sweet, sour, and sweet. And here my strawberries are done. Guys, let me know what you think. Now we are on to DIY number four. This is a plant planter from Dollar Tree. These come with a little succulents in there. I had done this for another DIY last year. So I'm just repurposing this. And as you can see, the paint just came off so easy. And then I took the sanding block and I'm just roughing it up a little bit because I want whatever I'm going to be using it for, the adhesive to hold. This is a pack of painted craft sticks that I got from my 99 cent store. And I'm going to be applying these all around this little planter. And I'm starting with the red one. I just measured it where I wanted to cut and the corners the ones for the corners are going to serve as the legs for it to stand on. So I cut four of them, just leaving like maybe about a quarter of an inch to the top. And then glue them on. I'd like to let you know that I am on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. I am also on Buy Me A Coffee. All those links can be found in my link tree in the description box below.
So now we have our four pieces on and those are serving as legs. Now I'm going to be applying the others. So I measured the distance, leave the same quarter of an inch to the top and I'm just randomly selecting different colors to go right around. Guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and also to like, share and leave your comments down below because I enjoy reading your comments. And now my little plant stand is all done. Don't you just love when you get paint craft sticks that are already painted? It just makes your work so much easier. Now I am taking some red paint just to hide those little white places that were showing underneath. And then I went over the top pieces that I had cut, just painted those out and painted the rim of the planter. Now, if you want, you can paint the planter before you actually apply the craft sticks. Now, I'm finishing this up by hiding the raw edges underneath there. So, I'm taking some jute cord and I am wrapping that all around. I just needed a little bit of hot glue to hold the first line. And then once I had that done, I went right around until I get maybe a half an inch coverage and then cut that off glue down the end took the lighter and burn off the little frizzes or fuzzies i left the bottom of the planter as is because i don't think it mattered and here i am now embellishing or putting in some plants now as you can see the little succulent that came in it i thought i would use that at one point but then i changed my mind and i'm just using whatever leftover greenery or flowers that I had in my stash for this little summer planter. I took one of these little wooden beads from BB Craft, glued that there, and now it's done. Let me know what you think, guys. Now for DIY number five, these are mini rolling pins. You guys know I love my rolling pins. <laughs> so I painted them with some apple barrel red paint and yellow. And then I still had my leftover words. So I'm using lemons for this one and strawberry for the other. So I just transferred those onto the rolling pins, made two small bowls and applied some Mod Podge to the pins. Pinned on the ribbons and these rolling pins are done now we're here for the final reveal guys we made it to the end let me know what you think about these mini tear tree diys my favorite are these little strawberries i love them but anyway that's just me let me know what you think about these in the description in the comment section down below and whether or not you would try these for your tear tree now you can see that I decided not to use the lemon one on here because the theme was all strawberries. I'll use that for another video. Guys, don't forget to check out Corey's channel as well as the playlist in the description box below. I really enjoyed bringing you this, these mini DIYs today. But if you love budget-friendly content like these and you have not checked out my channel, please go ahead and do so. But I also suggest this video right here as well as this mega playlist. And stay safe until my next video. Bye!